Okay, so I'm having some problems with these uh, trunnion kits that I bought. I don't know if you can see this. The egg shelled out. The bronze bushings egg shelled out. If I wiggle this up and down, I push, I push up on this, there's play. Roughly 10 thousandths. If I go to side to side, there's very, very little, if any, you know, back and forward like that, but up and down is bad. So that uh, took my lifters out of spec. I have Johnson 2116. LSR lifters and they require a very tight preload. Um, this may be a mood issue for you. Uh, that In light of that, I ordered all new rocker arms. I don't want to have to worry about uh, bronze bushings wearing out or any of that going back into rebuilding. I know there's some kits that last a lot longer and that might not be as big of an issue, but I just wanted something that I put in and I never have to mess with again. And I probably went way overkill, but uh, that said, I think this that I'll really like these. I spoke with Roger Vinci. He helped design these. These are Yella Terra. I, I say that like Spanish. Uh, Yella Terra rocker arms. And I'm really excited to, to try these out. Um, <laughs> this is a pickup truck build, so like I said, this is going to be really pretty intense to have these. Everything in my valve train is probably good for up to 7,500 RPM after this, but um, it'll be cool. It'll be awesome. I like to I like to play with this stuff. And, and yeah, there are some others. I talked with, um, I talked with Trevor Manton at Manton Push Rods. They make a far better trunnion kit than this. There's there's likely would last a lot longer. My friend Travis and a guy on the LS1 forum, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry, uh, shared another company that makes uh, a, a better training kit similar to the one Manton makes. Maybe they both make them the same place, I don't know. Um, but I just didn't want to mess with that stuff. Understand, this is probably about two, two and a half times the cost of that trunnion kit. And that trunnion kit, I think, was about it was less than 300 bucks, but um, I, I just want something that's that's going to be in there and I don't have to worry at all about. And this will, you know, if you're splitting hairs, this of course will make better power. It'll be absolutely be more stable. Yeah, I understand there's a lot of guys out there with the Trunion kits that are better than this one. Uh, this style, I'm going to provide a, a photo in the video or something. This style is no good. Don't buy this style. It was inexpensive. I didn't realize, though, that there's far better uh, trunnion kits than this. And I, I'm kind of glad. I'll, you know, I got a ton of money into my motor, um, way more than I probably ever needed to put into it or originally planned. But I think that it's going to be absolutely bulletproof. Then they're going to switch to electric vehicles, right? <laughs> So these are full, oh my lord, that's extraordinarily light. For the price, these were amazing. We're at uh, not quite, we're, we're at five and three quarter ounces. Let me do this. I should be able to do this 11 and a half uh, ounces, right? For two of these, uh, 0.5 divided by two, 5.75, perfect, 11.5, ounces for, for a cylinder. So this is a factory. And then I'm going to check these yellow terras, 11 and a quarter. So they're slightly lighter. Now, if we look here, oh, and the, the shaft is much bigger. Holy cow. This is the uh, shaft. That's way, way bigger. Wow, that's cool. Okay, yeah, so. Um, that'll make it more stable yet. Yeah, these are considerably lighter than the, the factory rockers. These, I don't know how they make these, cast or something. Um, wow, I, just holding this, I'm floored. So what, what I want to point out is the shaft continues through here. So a majority of the weight is in the shaft compared especially to this one, which it doesn't have a, um, what do we call this? There's a word for that, uh, shaft mount roller rockers. They're not shaft mount, these are individual. So, the, wow, these are super light. This is gonna light, this is gonna make a little bit of a difference. Um, as well as here's the seats. The seats are, are pressed in here. They're from a different material. 
for the push rods and then there's our metering hole as I call it. I probably used the, the wrong language. And that hole is a little bit smaller than the factory one. Additionally, you should really be aware that this being a roller tip is going to, to uh, take less power than the tip of the factory rocker, which uh, it's very inconsequential. I, I don't know. Uh, Roger probably knows how much more, how much power and heat is lost here with that tip. I've heard of these breaking occasionally, but at any rate, I'm, oh, these are awesome. I'm really excited to get these things on. They're super light. Just, you can just feel it. Um, I'm really excited to try these out. They're shaft mounted roller rockers. You don't have to modify your valve covers or any of that. The tip is also a roller. I'm going to go through installing one cylinder with you, checking the preload and all that. Cause I have those Johnson lifters. You may not have to do that. Uh, these are factory ratio 1.7 to one. So they're direct bolt on and, oh, I'm, this is unbelievable. This, this tip is this here feels lighter than, than this. This is the factory one. This is a, the ultra light, I believe it's called. Oh, wow. That's I'm, I'm shocked that that's extraordinary quality. Another thing, I believe the shoulder here that's on the trunnion may be wider. Oh yeah. See, it's, it's a little bit wider than the factory. So they're able to put in a bigger bearing. It's a Torrington brand uh, roller, needle roller bearing. If you notice, we have snap ring on either side that captures those. So you don't have to worry about them uh, getting thrown out in your engine or any of that. I talked with Roger at Detail. He helped, uh, he helped uh, design these. I'll, I'll put his white paper below. It was underneath. I gotta, I gotta read the instructions before I get too far into this, but I don't think these use the factory um, plate that goes under your roller rockers, uh, under your factory rockers. I think that they use their own. Okay, so in the next video, I'm gonna show you how I installed these. If you have a factory spec valve train, meaning the factory lifters, LS7 spec lifters, whatever you have, so long as they're factory spec, this will be very, very easy to do. I have a little more uh, complicated lifter setup, so mine's a bit more involved, but we'll take a look at that here in a moment.